Word, son. What a dig you too. It's your boy Jay Devine. All right, man. So, um, make sure I see back, chill, take a pee break, pause the video, get you some popcorn, because you know how I do. But I know I was supposed to make a video talking about uh, all the stuff that I covered, and I was going to recap it, and um, I was going to make a whole new video on Friday. But something came up, and I didn't get a chance to really get around to it, so I figured I'd just drop it on Monday, and then, uh, you know what I'm saying, just go from there. But, um, man, make sure I like, comment, subscribe, share the word, spread the links, man. And without further ado, let's get up into the video. So, um, um, y'all been keeping up, uh, hopefully, uh, everything that EA has been talking about from the QB animations to the modes to uh, the X Factors to the Pro Bowl and all that good stuff. Yeah, hopefully, y'all been keeping up on that. If not, y'all can go back and watch the videos that I posted or some other uh, some article links that you can read up on, stuff like that. So, um, all I got to say to all of that stuff, just to recap it all, you know, everything was to me it seems like it was rehashed like the pro bowl mode trying to repackage it as something new or you know what i mean or the or the the x factors which is almost essentially like all pro football's weapon abilities i mean well all pro football's like player abilities and you got mad in 2007 2008 uh, weapons like you know like the, the was it cannon arm elusive bag trucking bag you know what I'm saying smart safety smart corner those type of things you know what I'm saying so that's what it all feels like to me it's just like rehashed repackaged you know re uh, old ideas getting touched upon just stuff like that and it's trying to like be brought back into man 20 to try to make it more authentic as they say but EA this is the time to prove all of us wrong you know, the ones that always give y'all flack every year for dropping a mediocre uh, product, you know, while the casual fans are loving it because they're just that, you know, that's what they are, casual fans. While they're enjoying the game, the OG hardcore fans are like, what the hell is this? We didn't ask for this. So this is the time that y'all uh, prove all of us wrong. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, the casuals are going to like it because it's just what it is, take it for face value. But the hardcore OG fans, we want a better product. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I, I made a video talking about Madden 17 and how it played because once I started noticing that when 18 and 19 dropped, I just noticed that y'all just completely left, you know, certain certain mechanics in the past and didn't go, didn't bother to go back and retouch on them or keep them there because because y'all felt like y'all needed to scrap it and start a whole new thing up again because the last in the last games. Uh, ground was even enough for y'all to start on, so y'all scrap it all, and then here we are with another mediocre product. You know what I mean? So this is the time for y'all to prove us wrong, man. Because every year I've always judged Madden from pre-launch to post-launch, and it always stood true. So 20 is supposed to be claiming that there's more authenticity from player to player. You know, the gameplay is more smoother, much more. I mean, much yeah, much more smoother. A lot less, a lot less bugs to be plaguing the game and legacy issues being tightened up. If that's true then prove us wrong if that's what y'all trying to do prove me wrong prove all the people wrong that i always gave y'all flack every year for having mediocre products prove us wrong this is your time now yay prove us wrong you know i've been keeping close eye on everything that y'all been saying what y'all been doing and i really hope that y'all follow through on y'all uh, on your promise you know what i mean the one thing that made me cringe a lot was the fact that y'all said more animations we all know what more animations lead to and that's why i made that man 17 video where i said that physics needs to have a comeback because without physics, animation is more or less more dice roll, more, you know, more, it's, it's like a two way street. It's either yes or no. You know what I'm saying? Like, more animations means more problems. If we had physics or a good balance of physics and animation, like Mad 17, then we then we would actually have more common ground. But no, y'all said more animation. So we can only imagine how that'll be. You know, with the whole, uh, the, the was it a slot? I think it's called slot o -matic, the the player ability. They said that if you if he's in his zone and you are in single coverage and you throw the ball to him and you rat catch it, now everyone knows in Madden if you rat catch it in single coverage, you know it's going to get picked off 10 out of 10 times. But they said if your guy's in the zone and he's a slot o -matic, if he has that, he's going to get an animation when he rat catches it and they're going to give it to him based off of a rat catch. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? So it's a unique animation that cues up when you do a rat catch and he's in his zone. That just made me cringe to the utmost amount of, uh, like the utmost amount of cringe you could possibly get, because we all seen how more animations do, and it just it does that, but just make the game more clunky than it is before. But I'm gonna, you know, hold my tongue on this one, and I've said what I said. But EA, hopefully y'all come through with this one, man, because if not, this is it for y'all. This is really it. This is really for y'all to prove 
all the naysayers like myself and all the people who want a better Madden wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the people who don't look forward to Madden every year, prove us wrong. If not, this is going to be real catastrophic for y'all, man. So I really hope y'all follow through. And that's all I got to say about that. Um, quick side note, uh, I got a, I got an Elgato now. Oh, I got my Elgato HD60S. So I will be recording uh, more content. So I think this week I'm probably just drop this video and I'm going to just chill. And I'm going to get some content stirred up for y'all. So I might not drop any more videos this week. Um, probably might be next week. So I'm going to take this time to try to just record some gameplay and then get it edited up and then put some out. But I think this video is probably going to be the only one I drop this week. So, um, yeah, hopefully, man, uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Please subscribe and make sure I like the video so my stuff gets circulated. And make sure I share the links, man, because, uh, you know, the more the more people know, the better. So, um, uh, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the channel. Hopefully, y'all enjoy it. And uh, I know y'all seen a bunch of, like, streams that I was starting up on the channel. I know y'all kept getting notifications left and right. I was having problems with the streaming on the Elgato. So, uh, I'm going to try to get that right. Once I get that right, then I'll probably be, start streaming a lot more and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, hopefully, whoever came through the stream, appreciate it. It was never, like, one or two people. But whoever you are, I uh, appreciate you coming through and liking the video or stream or whatever. Appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, man, that's about it. So, uh, this is probably the only video I dropped this week. But other than that, um, I'm going to take this time to try to record some gameplay. And, uh, yeah, I'm just put it out for y'all, man. So probably next week I'll have, some, I'll have an onslaught of videos for y'all to check out. So uh, I'm going to go and get up out of here, man. Appreciate all the love and support. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'm going to go and get up out of here. It's your boy Jay Devon, and I'm signing out. Peace.